It's time for encouragement from Our Daily Bread. The devotional reading for today is titled Set Apart, and it was written by Asiri Fernando. The three-wheeled taxis of Sri Lanka, known as tuk-tuks, are a convenient and delightful mode of transport for many. Lorraine, a resident of the capital of Colombo, also realized that they're a mission field. Hopping onto a tuk-tuk one day, she found the friendly driver more than happy to engage in conversation about religion. The next time, she told herself, she would talk to the driver about the good news. The book of Romans starts with Paul declaring himself as set apart for the gospel of God. The Greek word for gospel is evangelion, which means good news. Paul was essentially saying that his main purpose was to tell God's good news. What is this good news? Romans 1.3 says that the gospel of God is regarding His Son. The good news is Jesus. It's God who wants to tell the world that Jesus came to save us from sin and death, and He's chosen us to be His mode of communication. What a humbling fact! Sharing the good news is a privilege all believers in Jesus have been given. We've received grace to call others to this faith. God has set us apart to carry the exciting news of the gospel to those around us, whether on tuk-tuks or wherever we are. May we, like Lorraine, look for opportunities in our daily life to tell others the good news that is Jesus. Now, hear the good news from God's Word. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Romans chapter 1, verses 1 through 6. Paul, a servant of Christ Jesus, called to be an apostle and set apart for the gospel of God, the gospel he promised beforehand through his prophets in the Holy Scriptures regarding his Son, who, as to his earthly life, was a descendant of David, and who, through the Spirit of holiness, was appointed the Son of God in power by his resurrection from the dead, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him we received grace and apostleship to call all the Gentiles to the obedience that comes from faith for his namesake. And you also are among those Gentiles who are called to belong to Jesus Christ. Now let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for letting us know about the good news that is found in the life, death, and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, give us boldness today to share the gospel with those around us. Let us not be ashamed of the gospel today. And it's in your name that we pray. Amen. Have a great day telling others about the good news of Jesus today. I'm Wes Ward, and this word of encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.